Hey, bro, my name is James Sabalski. Here in the gateway to the West, names that come to mind, Federico, Hull, Pronger, Ray, the list goes on and on. This has been a really good team in a really good sports city for a long time. I played here for a little bit, and I loved being in Missouri. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. The Blues start with possession as we are now underway. Directs it on over to O'Reilly. Quick feed to Sanford. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Here's a short pass to Voracek. That's a great heads up play to break up the pass. Dumps it into the Ozone. Cologne's got the puck along the wall. On the attack along the boards. Back to the blue line. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Quick pass to Thomas. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Receives the pass. He got all of that one. Moves the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Hornquist. Taken by Nyquist. Moves the puck along the half wall. Sends a pass over. Moves it to Hornquist. Jabs the puck away. Picked up along the boards by Foxa. He scores! Man, that line works well together, don't they? And now, at 30 goals, he's achieved an excellent milestone. Well, not quick enough or not in the right position. In any case, the goalie gets just a little piece of the shot, and it's in the net. Cologne's got the game's first goal as they lead here, 1-0 early in the first. Always awesome to be in front of the game. You push the pace. You make the other team uncomfortable when you're out front. Sends it quickly to Schwartz. Broken up at center. Feeds it on over to Hornquist. Fails to find the open man. Strong defensive effort. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Hornquist called for tripping. He's off to the box. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. And their first chance to use the man advantage. A well-deserved power play coming up here, looking for the tying goal. They've been really pushing hard, and they drew this penalty through that hard work. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And now it's over to Bozak. Picked off in the open ice. Tries to get the puck to Soderberg. Quick pass to Gudis. And they fail to go tape to tape. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. 1-0 the score. The Blues win the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Sanford. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Chara stick handling in his own zone. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. St. Louis has done an amazing job intercepting passes, breaking up plays most of the night. And he comes up with a huge stop. The setters will glide into the dot. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Paddle the way, he scores! Now the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. to the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there and he puts it away. <laughs> 
Shen's won it. Puck grab by Dunn. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. Puck scooped up by Raquel. Look out! Oh, what a hit! Gets the puck over to Shen. Hard hit with the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped, he also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. Larson's name on this list is of no surprise. Oh, he's a very aggressive player. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Cologne's got a hold of it against the wall. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Quick feed to McEachern. Look out. And a challenge being thrown down here. Yeah, it came out of nowhere a little bit, and the challenge is down. I don't know how interested he is in a punch-in-the-face contest. And as cooler heads begin to prevail here, it looks like both guys will have a chance to maybe have some downtime to think about it in the box, Ray. Well, they certainly got a couple of pokes in each here, and eventually the officials decided they weren't going to separate, so you throw them both in for a couple of minutes. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four. I think the best strategy is to be aggressive on the four-on-four. Four. Don't wait for the other guys to make a mistake. Moves right to the middle. Oh, he got paddled by Bennington. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Here's a chance. He's got a strike. Wow. Scores! Now you got the lead. Don't sit back. Get right back to the faceoff and try and attack again. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that passes on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. The All-Stars have the go-ahead goal. What's the approach now? Shouldn't change at all, James, because there's too much time left. Be aggressive and try and stretch the lead to two. Puck picked up by Gudis. Pass to Sergachev. Here's a short pass to Sanford. St. Louis has it against the half wall. What a steal in his own end. Feeds it over to Gudis. Handles the puck. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Voracek's got it against the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Past the midway mark of the frame, Cologne's got a one-goal lead. The All-Stars take possession off the faceoff. From the opposite point, uses the force on that hit. Soderberg's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier. Oh, he'll feel that one. And now it's grabbed by Schwartz. Gives them nothing in front. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Pokes it away in his own end. And it's a quick pass to Schwartz. It's a two-on-one. Shot, and he makes the save. Quick pass to Gudis. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. The Blues played along the boards. From in close, big time stick save. And now he angles it across to Soderberg. St. Louis plays it along the boards. Shen's got it in the offensive zone. Taken by Voracek. And the linesman calls icing on the play. The replay will show us that he's in good position and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. O'Reilly's won the draw here in the offensive zone. You know the other club is a little tired after the icing. That's an important offensive zone win. He scores! Jacob Boracek! The 
good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Here in the late going of the frame, Cologne's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Cologne's got the puck against the half wall. Moves it to Raquel. Takes the pass. Here's a chance behind the net. Takes the feed at the point. Sends the pass over. Cologne's got it along the wall. Takes it to the front. Solid hit on that play. And now it's to Thomas. And he serves it across to Bozak. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. The Blues get a hold of it. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. His reflexes on display tonight. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. That's just a great heads up read at center ice. St. Louis continues to shut down the middle of the ice. Really good stick positioning. This game remains close. You don't want to give up too many of these during the course of the game. The odd man rush puts the goalie on alert, but he makes a good stop. The centermen glide into position. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Lowers the boom with that hit. Well, that'll do it for period number one. Opportunities at both ends of the ice create a little bit of offense. Fun start here. Hey fans, be sure to get your season tickets now at this year's playoff locations and prices. Pay the regular season ticket price for rounds one through three. That offer is available now. Don't miss your opportunity to pick up the best locations. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. The Blues win it. Moves it quickly over to Sanford. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Well, a challenge being laid here. That's generally a no-fly zone with star players. Yeah, they get hit like that. Somebody's going to get irritated. And guess what happens when they get irritated? Down go the mid. Go time. Oh, and he hammers him and sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. As always, the guys are up banging their sticks on the board. A little more energy from the visiting team as their guy won the decision. You can see the shoulders just hanging a little bit lower here on the bench. St. Louis is ready to go back to work on special teams. Power play guys love these major penalties. You can score as much as you want. It's time to go and get some work done. Here's a chance with the stop. Takes the feed, moving in. Pokes the puck away. St. Louis has possession of it now. Right in the slot, and the pulp check. Oh, smart play. Quick feed to Tarasenko, and that's blocked away. Moves with the puck in the corner, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Feeds it up ahead. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Don't forget to visit our website to find out how you can enjoy hockey all year long. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Been a pretty good offensive display, at least for one side. 3-1 is where we sit. The Blues get a hold of the puck off the draw. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Oh, just a textbook hit. Slides it diagonally to Sergachev. Gains the zone through center. From the boards, he takes that pass. 
And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Cologne's looking to break out. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Smart defensive play there. The Blues are on the attack. Passes it over to Larson. The All-Stars move the puck in the defensive zone. The Blues take possession here in the open ice. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Schwartz. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Barcheck's always had a shot-first mentality. He's able to score with a great shot. He's among the league leaders in goals. The Blues have had multiple scoring opportunities, but they still trail in the second. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Cologne's in now. Soderbergh's got it along the wing. Big play inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Soderbergh. Tries to get the puck over to O'Reilly. There's a collision. Whoa. Scores! And the power play strikes again. James, they've been working on this in practice for the last little while. It's come through big for them tonight. The power play cashes in. They move the puck around and get the puck right into the middle of the slot. He makes no mistake from there. The Blues are back to center ice, and they have narrowed that gap. Cut the lead in half. The comeback's on. Now they must push forward, see if they can get the equalizer. And he slides it quickly to O'Reilly. Not able to connect. A little banging and crashing now. Cologne's got it in their own zone. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Shot comes up with the stop. Slides it over with pace to Raquel. Cologne's got it in their own zone. Now a quick pass to Raquel. A great read on the play. The Blues have done a really good job with their positioning. When they don't have the puck, they've been able to pick off several passes tonight. And now he moves it to Voracek. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Now he's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone here. Cologne's got a hold of it along the wall. Voracek's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stop by Bennington. Charo's style of play is always going to drop him in hot water. Here he is among the league leaders in penalty minutes again. St. Louis has had a lot of good looks offensively, but they continue to trail in the second. Gets a hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Falk. Slides the puck ahead to Blay. Takes the feed. Cologne's got the puck. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Passes over to Hornquist. Can't connect. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Yeah, he got a little testy once the whistle blown. He's pushing him out of there. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Cologne's hanging on to this 3-2 lead. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. Quick pass to play. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Nielsen. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Moves it to Fulk. St. Louis moves it ahead. Great hit on the play. Pass across to Gustafson. And now he tries to get it across to Donskoy. Cuts to the front. Wow. And they score. Looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. Cologne's offense delivers yet again. They now have a two-goal lead. They have dominated in this. 
They really have, and the key for them is not to look at the clock, but to keep playing the same way. They've done a really nice job dominating the majority of possession. St. Louis looks to move the puck from their own end. Victor Olsen, time of the goal. Grabbed along the board by Falk. Takes the puck at the point. And he whiffs on it! Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Oh, slick work with the glove by Nielsen. Zuccarello's lugging the puck and couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Slides the puck over to Zuccarello. Drives it to the crease. Manages to hang on. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Scooped up along the wall by Hainsey. And now it's over to Tarasenko. Big hit, absolutely lowering the boom. He closed so fast, there was nowhere for him to go. Laying the body. St. Louis has possession of the puck in the offensive end. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Moves it to McEachern. Oh, what a hit, Ray. You can hear that from here. How about you? Yeah, oh, yeah, that'll give you a headache. That was a solid hit. Takes it into the slot. He scores! In today's game, it's a symbol of excellence, Razor. It is. It's a milestone that everybody looks at because that is a top-level goal scorer. Oh, he looked like he had stopped it. When he couldn't quite find it, he turns around and bangs it into his own net. That's a tough one. Cologne's been in simple attack mode all night long. Would you not agree? Yes, and the opponent has no answer. It's like they can't get up to speed to take any of the pace away. Lays the body. Moves it quickly over to Hornquist. Grabs control of it at the point. Tremendous. And here comes the pushback. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. As it's go time. the end of that spirited boat. Maybe this will spark them. Maybe they'll get back in the game, but they're getting blown out here. This might be the first time the crowd's been on their feet in a while. Well, the crowd's right back into this one after a pretty spirited tilt just moments ago. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. And that one stopped. He's got such great patience with the puck. He'll hold it until a play opens up in front of him. You can see why he's in the top 10 in assists. The Blues seem almost a little frustrated out there as we near the end of the second period. They've had plenty of chances, just cannot convert. Quick feed to Schwartz. And he gets in front of it to block it. Colognes across the blue line. Let's it go with the stop. Well, the ice has sure looked tilted after 40 minutes of play as the second period comes to an end. Open the savings account this month and Bay Bank can get access to team press conferences, practice, or locker room tours. It's absolutely free. So what are you waiting for? Your team's proud exclusive banking partner. Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next. <laughs> Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? The Blues are losing, and really the biggest indication is they haven't had the puck very much at all. A big discrepancy in puck possession time. The All-Stars have it in the offensive end. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Stays with it. Point blank stop by Nielsen. 
Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. There's another stop. Oh, he's locked right in. A couple of stops in a row there. Here's a short pass to Dunn. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Uh, the defenders can regroup right now. That's a long time they've been chasing the puck around in their zone. They look like they've got nothing left in the tank. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. The Blues have created numerous scoring chances, but they've just run into a hot goalie tonight here early in this third period. Moves the puck to Nyquist. Look at the Savardian spinorama. Easy peasy right there by Bennington. Voracek's an outstanding offensive talent. He can score and he can pass. Teams have to focus on them. It doesn't seem to stop him, though, as he's in the top ten in the league in scoring. The Blues still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. And that one flies over the net. Quick feed to play. Slides the puck over. St. Louis on the attack. The All-Stars get a hold of the puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Nyquist. Puck grabbed by Gudis. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Puck scooped up by Sergachev. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Faxo's got the puck. Makes the save. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Voracek's been on fire lately. His point streak starting to stretch out. This is when you feel like you'll score any game. Philadelphia's been playing some pretty good hockey lately, and they await as this road trip continues. You'd really like to see a dud on your schedule once in a <laughs> yeah. while. It never seems to happen. Puck moved over to Sundqvist. St. Louis is across the blue line. Wax it into the offensive zone. Thunderous hit in the wall. Quick pass to Sundqvist. Nothing doing on that. Cologne's got the puck in the defensive end. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. To his teammate. It's in the back of the net for an own goal. I always thought playing goal was tough. Now you got to stop your own guys, too. abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third really impressive display they've moved the puck well skated really forecheck well there's really nothing they haven't done tonight grabs it in his own end smart defensive play here in the open ice puts it in deep Cologne's gained possession along the boards across the line from center moves it to forecheck from point blank range off target Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. O'Reilly's getting called for tripping. He's going to look up at the big board and see that. You know what? That's a trip for sure. He got his stick in the wrong spot. Tripped up the player. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. I love playing on the power play. I like the extra time. I like the fact that you're supposed to score. If you can't handle the pressure, they're going to replace you. And now he angles it across to Bozak. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Rocked on the play. That pass doesn't go. The Blues will play it in their own end. Taken along the wall by Foxa. Back to the point it goes. And that shot dies in traffic. The Blues have it now. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Oh, rocked along the boards. I almost feel the boards rattle where I'm standing here, James. That's a solid hit. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Score! 
Man, it can be deflating if your power play stinks. When your power play does score, everybody grabs a little bit of energy. You make so many decisions that happen so quickly. Every once in a while, you get one wrong. That's an example of a bad decision. Cologne's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro school of hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after you, goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence. Stars! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. Geez, I like this, James. When the puck's in their hands, they attack, and they attack in layers. The odd man rush is worked to perfection. St. Louis is going to make a change in goal. I guess you can't pull the whole team, so you just pull the goalie. He's had enough go past him tonight. Cologne's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. Strong defensive effort. Picked up along the boards by Foxa. With the puck inside the defensive zone. 14 minutes, 35 seconds. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. The Blues have had more scoring chances, and yet they trail late in this third period. St. Louis wins the faceoff. Dunn's gaining momentum. Good hit into the boards. Wow, he closed off his room, slammed him into the boards. They're still rattling. St. Louis takes possession at center. Moves it quickly over to O'Reilly. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Delayed penalty looming. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. He was locked in there. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. That turns out to be a bad shift for them as they no take a kidding. couple of penalties on the same play. That's a hole they're going to have to dig out of. No kidding. They're paying for that sort of chaos on the ice there in the last couple moments. As they're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. There's sometimes you need to make adjustments in game. I don't think they have to. They've already scored on the power play. They'll get another one right here. Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. Nilsson's been a strong link in the chain tonight. Everybody's pulling in the same direction. The offense has been excellent, too. Grabs the puck as they try to escape the blaze. Goes right to the crease. Takes the feed. Flash from the point, and that's broken up. And mercifully, now just seconds left in this one. One minute left in the third period. Nice feed at center, moves up ahead now. Snaps it on net, stones him in front. Dead center, excellent save. Puck possession so critical, another faceoff coming up here. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Along the half wall. Of the puck. And he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. Nielsen's under fire and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. St. Louis is running out of time late in this third period as they continue to trail. The All-Stars win the draw. The Blues played along the wing. Solid body contact. And he denied that opportunity. And the puck skips away after that move. Maintains possession and makes the save. 
Centering pass, and another stop. Quick work, he makes one and two saves in a row. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Takes him from the right side, and tries to make a diagonal pass to Blay. Stopped by the goaltender. Nielsen's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage and play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. O'Reilly's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Nielsen's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Donskoy's won a big draw in their own end. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. Oh, he's trying to shoot that off the glass, James. Under a little bit of pressure, he panics, shoots it over the window. Now he's got to go feel shame for two minutes. Then you go free after that, right? Puck is dropped. Quick shot. Puts it on net. Two. Easy with the glove. There it is. Final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. They've got all the answers right now. The winning streak continues as they find a way to win again. There's the old cliche, right? Good teams find ways to win. Bad teams find ways to lose. They can't do anything wrong these no, days. No, when there's a turning point, James, they find a way to be on the positive side of it. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.